All right, here we go with number one. Sixty. One, two, three, four. One twenty, one, two, three, four. One eighty, one, two, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> two forty, one, two, one, two, three, four. four and five no need for a metronome just take your time with it <clears throat> make sure you can hear all the notes nice and clean so just run through it at least twice and then hit that last chord so just something like this would be good hear something being muted any notes that don't sound correct stay where you're at adjust your hand in order to get the notes to sound correct get the notes to sound correct and then move on and then same idea with number five no need for a metronome here just want to make sure all the notes ring out nice and clean and you may need to adjust like how your finger is because like maybe it's not sounding good if you have your finger too far down this way. Maybe you need it up a little bit. Up past the fretboard. So try different things to see what works for you.
something else that can help with bar chords is instead of thinking of it like you're just squeezing your hand, there's a, there is a bit of that, but think of it like this. You're going to be pulling the guitar in this way. You're going to pull the neck towards you, and then this hand is against the body of the guitar, so that's pushing or pulling the guitar uh, into the body. So while the left hand pulls the neck this way, the right arm pushes the guitar into your body. So that's what I'm doing a little bit of. It's not a lot, but I'm definitely kind of like going this direction with my arms, with my hands, to make sure uh, I've got plenty, plenty of strength and pressure on those strings. So that's something you can try in these bar chords. It's a little bit of help by actually pulling in with your arms. So yeah, it's not just about squeezing the hand and then use the arms to help out too. So any questions, let me know and I will see you again next week.